Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that's a 56 Ford. She is pretty, isn't she? I love that deep red paint. It is shining, looking sweet. That chrome grill, it's got the aftermarket headlights, the chrome bumper, and under that hood is a 350 with a 671 supercharger sitting on top. You wanna to talk about resto modded out? This baby has got it all. Beautiful restoration. She was on the rotisserie. Bottom side of it's just as pretty as the top. I tell you what, she is one beautiful truck. And look at the stance on it. I mean, it is nearly perfect. We got about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of rake between the front and the rear. Those wheels are looking sweet. And that red paint is just absolutely deep as can be. I tell you what, it looks like you could run your hand in there about a foot. It looks so beautiful. And then look at that interior. Love the gray interior. And then they've added that valance underneath the dash for all the controls and everything. Just looking absolutely beautiful in there. It's got a custom uh, steering column in it. We've got some custom gauges in there. Uh, they, they've taken some of the hood badges. You see that hood badge they got over there on the uh, glove box looking sweet. Then that seat, just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful job they did on this thing. And look at this door jam here. Tell you what, you might want to just leave your door open at a car show just to show off the quality right there. And then look at the bed on this baby. That oak floor is just looking absolutely gorgeous. Those rungs in between it are all stainless and or chromed, looking beautiful. And then we've got, remember how they had those chains on there that used to hold the gates? Well, they've got these nice little, those dice are, uh, just little covers for it, but beautiful. See the bed tops? Look at the finish on the paint here. Of course, the uh, rear fenders are steel. The running boards are also steel on the truck. And then those front fenders are also steel. She is one beautiful machine, guys. And we're gonna put it up on the lift and inspect it so Tom can answer every one of your questions when you call him at 248 971 I'm sorry, 248-974-9513. Give him a call. this bad mamma jamma for a ride. Of course, when you got a supercharger, you got to step on it a little bit. That was about half throttle, guys. This thing is a monster. Beautiful, supercharged, I mean, and it's a 56. I mean, this thing is amazing, guys, and I love it if you can't tell. Of course, I'm an old F100 guy, a good buddy of mine who's no longer with us. He had a 55 all through high school, and we played around with that thing. It had a 390 Cadillac motor in it. We put a 351 in it. Then we put the Cadillac motor back in it. We had a blast with it when we were in high school. And then uh, I actually sold that and sent it over to Australia, believe it or not. So. This one is amazing, guys, and we can ship it anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. I tell you what, if this baby looked like my buddy's truck, it'd still be here. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. The workmanship on it, just everything on it. As you can see down here on the dash, they did some really cool stuff here. Speedos up here, tack down here in the center of the dash. All of this is custom. This uh, panel they made down here with all the gauges and the headlights and the wipers and the blower motor. And then I think I pointed out that hood emblem there before. It just looks so freaking cool. I just absolutely love this truck. And she's driving awesome too, man. Now, the, 
Only thing with this truck is uh, the brake pedal's to the left of the steering column, so it's an old two-footer. You guys remember that. Use your left foot on the brake, your right foot on the gas. It gives you more time to put your hammer down. I mean, this thing just wants to go. I mean, I literally only moved the pedal about a half an inch, and it just sets you back in the seat. And also, got plenty of belly room here too. You can get the steering wheel up there. I still got about six inches of belly room and I got about six inches above my head here too. So this is big guy friendly. Just having a blast driving this thing and we'd love for you to come in and check it out in person or send an inspector. We're close to the airport if you need to fly in. Guys, we're gonna put it in the air for you right now and show you just how beautiful the bottom side is. All right, we're underneath this 56 now, and man, she is pretty under here. Look at that tank. Beautiful aluminum tank with some beautiful TIG welds right here. You can see that the uh, springs and the frame are all got that hammer coating on them, and they're looking sweet. You can see the underside is all painted red, looking good. Bottom side of the wood has also been stained, and it's looking good. All brand new fasteners. 373 gear in here. Um, the exhaust looks like it's all brand new. They did a real good job routing all that. And there is a posi unit in there also. Look at all this. Look at all this red paint under here. Man, it is pretty under here. And that hammer finish on the frame, I believe that's a powder coat thing. So they, they had this whole frame off and had this baby in the powder coater. What's really cool is they uh, put this uh, subframe up here. It looks off of a Camaro and bolted it right to the frame. I mean, it looks like it belongs there. I mean, it, it's just beautiful, the workmanship under here. Uh, our bushings look like they're fairly new. The lower control arms have got that same hammered finish on them. We do have disc brakes up front, and we do have drum brakes in the back, and the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. And see, what's really cool is they took the front frame of the truck, and they've connected it to the front frame horns of this Camaro subframe, which is a very, very cool way to do it. Uh, we've got um, brand new bumper here. It's just as shiny on the back as it is on the front. You can see the wheel wells up in here, all painted up and looking nice. It's got tubular upper control arms, which were fully adjustable, so you can set up your uh, alignment. Two 25-70-15s up front. And then look at the reflections in that red paint. Look at that, you can see that blue cobra in the red paint, or at least I can. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. You look over there, there's that blue cobra. <laughs> but you can see the reflection. Man, that's cool. All right, let's see. Two 85-60-16s on the back. Now these billet specialty wheels, you spin this uh, knockoff here off and then the lug nuts are underneath there. Really nice setup there. And again, you can see the wheel wells are all nicely painted. Well, we're gonna lower it down and take a look at that supercharger sitting on top of that 350. All right, under the hood here, first thing you see is this big 671 blower sitting on top of that 350, man. Everything polished up, looking sweet. Of course, she does have power steering, power brakes. All of that is looking sweet. Um, it does have an MSD distributor. It's got MSD wires on it. Over here on this side, it's got a chrome alternator. And if you want to check out a bunch of pictures of it, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. It's got jet-coated headers. You can see that custom upper control arm there that's fully adjustable. You can see the nice hammer finish on the frame here. It's got the electric uh, fan on the radiator. And then they took a stock radiator and polished up that brass top tank, which is looking sweet. And then it's got that uh, lizard skin on the uh, bottom side of the hood, cut down on some of the noise, and it looks real nice. Uh, the inner fenders are nicely painted. And then this apparatus here is very cool. It gets rid of those hinges that were back here that never really worked that good. And these things slide down on the rollers and lock right into place. It works great. Uses the original hood latch in the front. You just pull that handle, pull it up, and then pull the hood forward, then you tilt it forward. Real easy operation here. I don't know if I told you about the Demon carburetors, but it's got dual Demon carburetors. Those are four barrels. They are vacuum secondaries. 
I mean, everything about this truck's amazing, guys. She's a 56, she's a Ford, she's got a supercharger, it's got beautiful paint on it. Give us a call, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.